I'm a scientist and there's lots of interesting science in agriculture, but what we have to do is doing it in a memorable and exciting way. So today, I don't need my lab coat, so let's go and talk science in the field. Take insect pests, like aphids. Don't just talk about them, trap them. Your visitors may be fascinated to see the numbers and detail, but if you've got a huge aphid, then you can see so much more. Here are some interesting facts. Do you know there are over 600 types of aphids in the UK? And we can go from a single aphid depicted by this bead to this many in a month. And large numbers of aphids cause a problem to crop, just like the sugar beet. Let me demonstrate. So the sugar beet leaf is made up of a number of cells and the glasses below depict those individual cells. And when an aphid feeds, it punctures through the leaf, sucks out the sap and feeds on the cell below. And this is the first problem that aphids cause. The leaf is now damaged, but there's more. Some aphids have already fed on a leaf that carries a disease like a virus. And when it feeds, it picks up those particles on its mouth parts, just like this blue dye on the straw. And when it feeds, it transmits it to a new cell and new plant. And look, now this leaf cell is infected too. You can demonstrate the serious impact that aphids have to crops like sugar beet. This healthy crop will produce lots of sugar, but if the aphids that feed on it are carrying the virus, you will lose this much sugar. Up to 25% of the yield can be lost, so that's why it's important that we control the aphids and their viruses. So we don't want your visitors to think that scientists just come up with the problems. What we're trying to do is provide solutions. So with aphids and viruses, we're able to monitor and understand what's going on in the field. We can develop detection methods to see which viruses and their other diseases that may be there. And here's another interesting thing. We can actually use wild relatives of sugar beet that are found on the beaches of England to actually identify new sources of resistance to both aphids and disease that we can then breed into new varieties of the future to solve the problems that we may be facing, as well as developing chemical methods to control the aphids and also the viruses. Science in farming is magic. It's all about understanding the crop, the pests and diseases, and looking after the environment. And when it comes to aphids and viruses, it's looking after those beneficial insects as well, just like ladybirds. So good luck in sharing the magic of agricultural science.